On the screen we have an animation that allows us to understand the operation of a fan coil system and air handling unit. To understand how it works, we are going to show its basic parts and the function that they are performing at that moment. Recirculation duct. It is responsible for bringing back a flow of air from the premises to the air handling unit. The value of the amount of air that recirculates has to do with factors such as the concentration in ppm of COTWO inside the premises. Recirculation Centrifugal Fan if This fan is responsible for sucking the recirculation flow and sending it to the heat exchanger of the air handling unit. At this moment, the flow value is 67,000 cubic meter per hour of air. Recirculation air control damper. In this system, the recirculation air flow is controlled, opening the air outlet of the fan by a percentage. In this case it is 100% open. To remove impurities from the air that is going to be supplied to the premises, the air handling unit and fan coil have filters. In this case we have a G3 filter. What is a G3 filter? Coarse dust filters are mainly used in water sits. The coarse dust filter is a filter used for air pollution. The coarse dust filters are mainly used in turbo machinery air intake systems, ventilation and air conditioning systems, laboratories, chemical and pharmaceutical plants, as well as hoods for vapor removal in workplaces. Heat exchanger of the air handling unit. At this point the frozen water from the chiller room arrives. The idea is to extract heat from the air. As the frozen water has a lower temperature, the heat passes from the air to the water. This causes the cooling of the air, which is going to be supplied. Two-way motorized valve to control the flow of chilled water, which is directed to the window. Supply centrifugal fan. It is in charge of supplying the airflow with the necessary pressure, so that it reaches all the grills of the premises. The air temperature should be between 10 and 15 degrees Celsius. This fan has constant speed, and at this time, the air is going to be supplied. This fan has a constant speed, and at this moment it manages a flow of 73,000 cubic meters per hour of air. Air Conditioning Exhaust Duct Through this duct, a percentage of the already conditioned air that comes from the premises is expelled to maintain the COTWO concentration values at the recommended ppm. To control the amount of air that is being expelled, there is a damper, which is currently open at 10%. To replace the flow that has been expelled, there is an inlet duct from the outside. This duct is responsible for bringing fresh air from the street. The airflow is controlled by means of a grill, which in this case is open at 10%. Let's show the work points. 1. Return flow from the premises, with a value of 67,000 cubic meters per hour. Let's assume with a temperature of 23 degrees Celsius. 2. Expulsion flow to the outside, with a value of 6,000 cubic meters per hour, with a temperature of 23 degrees Celsius. This percentage represents a loss of efficiency of the air handling unit, but it is justified by hygienic conditions. 3. Replacement flow, which comes from outside, at a temperature of 35 degrees Celsius, with a value of 6,000 cubic meters per hour. 4. Supply air mixture, with a value of 73,000 cubic meters per hour of air. The temperature value of this mixture must be close to 24 degrees Celsius. 5. The supply air mixture, off to the exchanger, comes out with a temperature of 12 degrees Celsius. 6. The frozen water enters the exchanger with a temperature of 7 degrees Celsius. The frozen water leaves the exchanger with a temperature of 12 degrees Celsius.